departure time. International departures with Chain 54. It's a common problem that people tend to make too much mashed potatoes at once, so they're always left with a bunch that ends up in the fridge. Mash is only perfect when it's fresh, so most of the leftover is thrown away. Even if it's the best, you'll feel less and less like eating it. But if you follow these steps, I swear you cannot wait for that stale mashed potatoes, because these cheese-filled croquettes are actually better if made from a few days old potato mash. Fasten your seatbelts, we're taking off. This is International Departures. I ended up with 300 grams of leftover mash and it needs around 100 grams of flour. Cut up some cheese into smaller pieces, separate an egg yolk and put breadcrumbs onto a deep plate for covering. It's advisable to season them to make it even more yummy. Salt, pepper and some nutmeg. I didn't put too much in there because I seasoned my mash rich when I make them. Mix it well then add some garlic powder if you feel like it. Taste it so you can be sure if it needs something extra. Then add the egg yolk and mix it with the mash to make it creamy and hold it together a bit more. It's time for the flour. Add it gradually into the mix so it's easier to handle. Once it came together, put it into the fridge for at least half an hour, maybe more. It's easier to shape and handle when it's cold. After you got it back out, wet your both hands with water, otherwise the mash will stick to them. Take a small bowl's worth and roll it between your palms and shape it like this. Once it looks okay, push a cheese piece into the middle and close it with additional mash. Then roll it again with your hands so it's nice and smooth. You don't want that cheese to melt into the oil when you fry them. Ta-da! Cover it with the breadcrumbs, make sure it gets everywhere. This is the coating that protects your creation from the hot oil, believe me, it's important. Repeat the process until you use all the potatoes. Heat the oil well enough so when you put them in, they start to bubble instantly. If it's not hot enough, they will soak the oil in and be lumpy and soggy, which we don't want. Take the heat a bit back, move them around frequently and watch them like a hawk to avoid them burn. Fry both sides, take them out on a paper towel and you're done. I don't worry about plating, rustic food is good even if it's ugly. These things with the gooey meal taste like heaven. Mm. Let's eat. Good luck making these, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Please subscribe to my channel to enjoy my cooking and the two weekly music episodes with awesome visuals. If you make any of my dishes, post a photo or video on Twitter and Instagram. Tag me in at Shane54Music and hashtag TheCookingDJ. See you next time. Bye! International Departures with Shane54.